one minute. Gentlemen, please welcome the CEO of Panasonic Europe, Laurent Abadi. Wow, that was a super fast journey from Munich to Berlin. I made it here in just 30 minutes with the Hyperloop. More on this exciting development in transportation shortly. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to the Panasonic press conference here at IFA 2018. At Panasonic, we are dedicated to improving everyone's existence by developing smart, safe, and sustainable ways of living and working. A key part of this is through our focus on connectivity. By this, I mean connectivity in the wider sense, whether it's connecting people, devices or places. Let's start by looking at connecting places. And around the world, Panasonic is making a significant contribution towards the future of mobility and transportation, ranging from technologies from, for cars, for airplanes, for trains, and beyond. Looking back to my arrival, here by Hyperloop. When this method of transportation becomes a reality, I could travel from Munich to Berlin in only 30 minutes. Such Hyperloop developments will soon change the way we move around using near vacuum tubes to travel at supersonic speed, equally as fast as airplane travel. In Munich, we support the Technical University. An exciting first project with the university is Panasonic Industries' involvement with the university's entry in the Hyperloop pod competition, which took place last month. The support of this team by our Panasonic industry colleagues demonstrates how cooperation be between academias and industry can result in major steps forward in creating safer, more efficient, and greener ways of transportation. More of this very shortly. Another example of how we are focused on the future of transportation is our autonomous car concept. We see the autonomous driving development coming in three steps. The first step is partial autonomous driving. This will be followed by conditional autonomous driving before we foresee fully automated driving becoming a reality from around 2030. To make this happen, we can't just focus on the technology in the car. It is critical to establish and organize road infrastructure alongside the development of new technologies inside the cabin itself. Panasonic contributes to the evolution of advanced driver assistance systems by combining the Panasonic Group's extensive consumer electronic technologies, such as displays, image processing, image recognition, 
and uh, our communication and networking capabilities with in-car technologies. Please join me in looking at some examples of exciting transportation projects we are involved with and working uh, on which we demonstrate our vision and plans for mobilities and transport. Let's take a look. Where is the future of mobility leading us? A greener and safer way of transport? One thing's for sure, to shape the future, we have to rethink mobility as it is today. Connectivity is the key. Therefore, Panasonic is focusing on projects that have the ability to change the way we move with a completely new perspective. In April, the Prime Minister of Bavaria said they aim to introduce a Hyperloop reference route within the next 10 years. Panasonic already supports first concept studies. The one who wants to make the world a better place needs to think long term. What will the future of transportation look like? A train running through a tube at the speed of nearly 1,000 km per hour? This may sound like something straight out of a science fiction movie. But a team of students at the Technical University of Munich have developed a prototype for such a vehicle supported by Panasonic technology and engineering know-how. Summer 2018. It's the third global Hyperloop contest near Los Angeles. Proof that the Hyperloop is not only a pipe dream. Competing with other engineering student teams from around the world, the Munich students won this contest twice now. For some key applications for the Hyperloop pod, Panasonic components have been used. Panasonic also brought together young minds with its skilled engineers for laser light sensors, relay and resistor technology. Los Angeles, USA. At the one mile test course, the third global contest took place. Hand it over to Team VAR. Ready to launch and go. This time, it's all about speed. Within seconds, the Hyperloop pod accelerates up to 467 kilometers an hour. The team bar has just achieved 284 miles an hour! This represents a new Hyperloop test track record! This record also proves the excellence of Panasonic's technology inside the pod. And this is just one of the many projects Panasonic is working on to lead into a sustainable and safe future of mobility. Northern city lines and national rail services. Autonomous forms of transportation are also only a step ahead today. Our Panasonic automotive engineering teams work on autonomous driving technologies, contributing to increased safety and offering an individual form of mobility, even for elderly people. In Western Japan, Panasonic started last year testing an autonomous electric commuter on a road. It uses visual and sensor detection sources, applies recognition and judgment algorithms, resulting in warning or autonomous action. Mobility is a building block for Panasonic for a greener, safer and more enjoyable future. The key element is connectivity. Connectivity in data and transportation, bringing together people like you and me. Moving towards a better life, a better world. As an electronics manufacturer, expertise in digitalization and connectivity is our DNA. Thanks to our comprehensive sensor portfolio, our experience in visual technology and our know-how in connectivity, we are able to develop a number of new smart services together with our partners and customers. You may remember last year at IFA, I told you about the street lights which can charge electric cars thanks to Panasonic's light management solution. This solution meant that a street light could still provide electricity even when the light is switched off during the day. We have now taken this solution a step forward, bringing high bandwidth connectivity and therefore smart city services to something as omnipresent as a street light that is already spread widely across cities, villages and industrial areas. 
Let's take Husdom, a tourist island in the Baltic Sea, as our first example of this solution in action. Here, in the high season, of, uh, the population increases by three times as tourists flock to the island. Anyone who has spent time this summer on holidays with teenage children knows that holidays does not feel li like a holiday unless there is an internet connection to keep them entertained. Visitors to Husdom used to find that the GSM connectivity was rather poor. So the mayor, the mayor of Herixdorf, one of the island's tourist hotspots, turned to Panasonic to solve this issue. Using the existing street light structure together with Panasonic's HD power line communication module with a Wi Fi router on top of the street lights, visitors and residents in Heringsdorf can enjoy fast internet connection along the beachfront. Another city which has created even more smart city services using our HD PLC technology is. Zollingen. You may recognize the name Zollingen from his uh, sharp knives and scissors, but their smart city ideas are even sharper. Using the internet connectivity of HD PLC module, the German city upgraded their street lights to incorporate weather and air pollution sensors and this is especially useful in time where the weather and clim climate change results in dramatic and very local weather phenomenon. Since Dieselgate, defining air pollution standards and measuring threshold for when traffic should be suspended drive political discussion today. As a result, Smart concepts for measurement connected with intelligent traffic management systems are the first step to deal with these issues, protecting citizens while also saving money and electricity. Furthermore, to help the citizen to feel safe in Zollingen, some of the street lights are fitted with an SOS button and a Panasonic security camera connected to an emergency help center enabling speedy response in case of emergency. So let's take a look at these street lights in action. Connected cities, they come to life, and street lighting is the key. On average, every 50 meters a street light is connected to the electricity grid. With Panasonic's HD Powerline communication module, the lamppost is upgraded to offer a wide range of smart city services. Panasonic's HD PLC has now come to life in different cities. It builds the foundation for various smart cities applications. Zollingen is one of the two cities in Germany using HD Powerline communication modules to offer smart services to their citizens. This lamppost incorporates a speaker for public announcements. With the emergency function from Schneider Intercom, the Panasonic security camera and the microphone in the lamppost are activated and the image and voice call are forwarded to our control center. Connecting the street light to the HD power line enables the lamp to send and receive data across the respective service network. This allows for air pollution sensors to deliver data for intelligent traffic management. The street light turns into a weather station through sensors delivering precise and very local weather data so citizens can get alerts about microclimate changes. The HD PLC bandwidth is up to 240 megabits, giving the chance to react to unpredicted extreme weather. The advantages of the solution are obvious. First, there are no follow-up costs compared to a GSM solution. Second, the exclusive connection guarantees the best data transfer rates. Third, and encryption ensures the necessary data protection. The beautiful island of Usedom. Poor GSM connectivity led the community of Heringsdorf to upgrade the tourist hotspot along the seafront with HD PLC connectivity. The Kaiserbäder on Usedom wants to offer their guests a great holiday experience. Especially for young people, this includes internet access in tourist centers. That's why we opted for an HD PLC solution that's fast enough to surf the internet at the seafront. HD PLC offers smart solutions for a wide variety of needs. We see that our HD PLC technology enables cities to realize the digital transformation. 
It gives them the foundation for many innovative smart services and connected services for their citizens. In addition to these smart services in Zollingen and uh, Usdom, as well as our existing smart cities project in Fujisawa and Tsunashima in Japan, there is actually one great case study uh, we have not yet mentioned, and it's right here in this great city of Berlin. As you can see he here on this picture, the construction has progressed nicely since the groundbreaking ceremony in July last year. The houses are now almost ready for Panasonic photovoltaic HIT panels, as well as the Panasonic heat pumps. But this is not all. In Future Living Berlin, we are working on a new software platform, our energy management system, known as EMS, a kind of brain, if you like, which will significantly leverage the way energy is created, managed, and used in apartment buildings. What is special about Panasonic's EMS is the integration of electricity and heating into one energy management console, which is only possible for us to do since we own technologies such as solar, battery, and heat pumps. We will start European production of these air-to-water heat pumps uh, this October in our factory in Czech Republic for the European market. Coming back to the EMS, this energy management concept and the self-consumption of solar power is particularly attractive in Germany, where there is a fantastic subsidy model called Mitterstrom. Uh, this incentivizes building owners and tenants alike to benefit from the self-produced energy. Panasonic will field test its management platform in future living Berlin with the young and dynamic company Polar Sturm and considers to roll out such a solution in other cities in Germany. So now, let's take a look at Panasonic's energy management systems. CO2 emissions in cities are a big issue. Besides traffic, pollution from buildings caused by heating also has to be reduced. On top of electricity, Panasonic included heating into the energy management for buildings. Shaping the future means inventing new ways of renewable energy usage. Here, Panasonic is partnering with companies like Polarstern. Polarstern's core is green energy. Thereby, they support building owners to make best use of the Meterstrom law, which incentivizes building owners and tenants to use energy where it's produced. A big challenge is always to find partners with deep knowledge in photovoltaic, battery and heat technology such as heat pumps. If one partner offers this all together, it makes the management across the three technologies much easier. We work with Panasonic in different projects to provide the best fitting solution to our customers, the building owners and the tenants. A perfect example of this is our collaboration in the Future Living Berlin project. Construction is nearly complete and key energy technologies from Panasonic like solar and heat pumps are about to be installed. For the PV power usage, scientists from the RWTH Aachen University test battery systems and the combination with heating as the third pillar of the energy mix. The future of the home energy market will be much more complex than today and Panasonic is challenging this. They offer a system which includes the photovoltaic modules, and the batteries for storing electrical energy, but it also includes heat pumps for providing heat to the system. And the question of the energy management system at the end of the day is where to put the energy, to the heat pump, to the battery, to the consumers directly or maybe feeding it into the grid. Together with Panasonic, we tried to figure out how such a system could be used the best possible way. Panasonic has a huge know-how in photovoltaic batteries and heat pumps. This gives us a special opportunity to best integrate and control them. At our European R&D Center, we develop the core technology. A central software platform manages the energy produced, stored and used in residential and apartment houses. In Munich, Germany, green architecture specialist Nest have recognized the importance of heating for the renewable energy mix in their apartments. 
Since heating represents more than 40% of the total energy consumption in a house, we focus not only on electricity, but especially on heat. Due to our high energy efficient homes, the tenants save around 70% heating costs. On top, the residents reduce another 15% on their energy bills, thanks to the Mieterstrom model. Panasonic is the leading manufacturer to combine all three energy sources in one energy management platform. We have heard now about some innovation for the cities and for the homes of the people. Innovation for the homes is the key word for us. And now, and over to our new MC, Lina. So Lina will give you a sneak preview of what Mrs. Ogawa has brought with her and share some interesting prediction of how Panasonic will help change the way we live over the next 100 years. A, a very big thanks for your attention and please give a warm welcome to Lina. Thank you, Mr. Abadi. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and I join Mr. Abadi in welcoming you to the Panasonic press conference at this year's IFA in the wonderful city of Berlin. My name is Lena Sieb, and I'm delighted to be your host today. I'm sure some of you, when you came in, noticed that Panasonic is celebrating a small anniversary this year, a hundred years of Panasonic, 1918 to 2018. If you think of this century and all the revolutionary changes it has brought to everyone's way of life, I think it's fair to say that the speed of technological developments of this century are unprecedented in the history of humankind. Now, let's think for a moment for the next, about the next 100 years. Can you even imagine how our lives will look like? Based on the technologies that we have available today already, I think we can expect that our homes will soon be fully connected and intelligent. Already now, I can control quite a few devices in my house just by using my voice, and I think soon I'll be able to come back from a long day at work, sit back and say, hey, Google, time to relax, and then the lights dim, and the air condition blows a cool breeze my way, and perhaps in the background, my favorite piece from the Berlin Philharmonic will start to play. I think you can see that I'm already quite excited about the future, and I can't wait to see how these technologies will change our lives and will make them easier and more comfortable. And our next speaker, in fact, is going to show us that this dream is not too far from becoming a reality. Michiko Ogawa is not only vice president, but also chief technology officer and in charge of design at Panasonic's appliance company, the heart of Panasonic's consumer business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Ms. Ogawa. Lena and good afternoon everyone. My name is Michiko Ogawa. As 2018 is the 100th anniversary of the founding of Panasonic, today I want to talk to you about the past and also about our vision for Panasonic consumer products of the future. Panasonic was founded in 1918, meaning that Panasonic has now been making products which enrich our homes for exactly 100 years. The tone for the next century was set by our very first product, a double light socket. In those days, houses were only rarely set up to allow the use of electricity for lighting. There were no wall plugs, 
just hanging light sockets. So if, for example, you wanted to use one of the new electric ions, which were just becoming popular, then you needed to unscrew your light and instead screw your ion to the light socket. And then ion in the dark. Panasonic's double socket allowed people to iron their clothes and uh, an electric light for the first time. And in so doing, contributed to the revolution of using electricity for a wide variety of products in our homes. As I said, that first product, a device to make our homes more convenient, set the tone for the next century through continually trying to understand and then solve people's real-life problems. Panasonic went on to become one of the largest manufacturers of electrical appliances in the world. And those electric appliances changed the world. Radio and the TVs allowed us to hear and see the world, brought us news and entertainment, and made the globe a smaller place. For example, Panasonic Fast Radio, the All-31, drove the radio industry's growth, while our first monochrome TV redefined picture quality and mainstream design, introducing the rectangular TV screens we still see today. Microwave ovens have helped to cut the amount of time necessary to cook nutritious meals and revolutionized the way people cook. From steaming, grilling, and baking nutritious meals, Panasonic has transformed microwave ovens to become multi-purpose cooking appliances. Air conditioners have contributed greatly to making living in hotter parts of the globe more comfortable. And 60 years ago, Panasonic was the first in the industry to bring a window-type, compact and lightweight air conditioner to the home. Over the years, Panasonic has manufactured millions of these and other devices, and we are proud of the contribution we have made to improving people's lives. That's the past. What of the future? Technological advancements are changing the way we live and how we interact with each other in society. Our homes and the products inside them are becoming integrated into the communities around us like never before. Accordingly, from now on, instead of focusing on individual products, it will be necessary to coordinate between multiple devices to provide solutions and experiences suited to each lifestyle and residential spaces and to the wider community. Accordingly, Panasonic believes that the movement towards the old devices being connected to an Internet of Things will potentially deliver equally profound changes to our society. Every year, the number of our products which are IoT compatible are expanding. On our booth, we are displaying a wide variety of Panasonic products, from smart speakers to hi-fi audio, from ultra HD Blu-ray players to TVs, which work with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. However, Panasonic is also working to stretch the boundaries of what the Internet of Things makes possible. As Mr. Abadi mentioned earlier, a concrete example can be seen here in Future Living Berlin. Based on our advanced technology, 
Panasonic is the first TV manufacturer to integrate its smart TVs into the selected home automation platform Digital Strong. Furthermore, we will also integrate our smart speaker, the GA10, thus enabling, for example, personalized entertainment and comfort scenarios as well as making the home more secure. Another example of how Panasonic is leading a more towards the next stage of the Internet of Things is our support for low power wide area or LPWA technology. This technology allows for appliances to ship with a LPWA modem already installed in each device, which can connect seamlessly with the local cellular network straight out of the box, allowing for two-way low bandwidth communications. This eliminates the need for time-consuming and sometimes complicated Wi-Fi pairing. In Japan, Panasonic has already announced that it will conduct a pilot with one of Japan's leading mobile operators to utilize low-power wide-area technology to connect large numbers of Panasonic appliances. Today, I am pleased to announce that Panasonic will also be expanding these initiatives to Europe in partnership with Europe's largest cellular network, Vodafone, we will be rolling out Europe's leading NB IoT trials with Panasonic consumer products, starting from air conditioners. To tell you more about it, I am delighted to welcome to the stage Mr. Eric Brenners, CEO of Vodafone Global Enterprise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and um, hello. Let me tell you that this is a super exciting time to be involved in the Internet of Things with the adoption of the technology at an all-time high. Everybody's talking about IoT at the moment. I personally believe that narrowband IoT, or short, NB IoT, is going to open up a lot of new opportunities for companies like Panasonic to help create a more connected society. This te technology, which Vodafone helped develop, is now a recognized industry standard. And it means that companies can start to build connected appliances that can work in the field for 10 years on a single battery charge. It can connect as far as 10 kilometers, and it allows about 10,000 dev devices to be connected to just one single cell. cell. And all of this at a lower cost than is currently available in the market. Vodafone already today is the recognized market leader in Internet of Things, and we have more than 74 million international IoT connections from connected cars, connected cows, all kinds of other stuff. Building on that success, we've already launched this new technology in nine countries, and it's currently being used for lots of things, such as smart meters, pet trackers, medical monitors, smart parking applications, and a lot more. Finally, we really welcome the chance to deepen our relationship with Panasonic, and we're super excited to be working with Panasonic here in Europe to explore how together we can help to bring Panasonic even closer to its customers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. Staying on the theme of the future, I'd like to discuss design. There is a saying in Japan, to see 10 years into the future, visit Tokyo. To see 100 years into the future, visit Kyoto. And so it is with the future in mind that we Panasonic have decided to formally concentrate our consumer product design functions in Kyoto. 
Why Kyoto? It's the cultural capital of Japan and with over 2,000 years of history, is renowned as representing the very best of traditional Japanese craftsmanship and artistry. Indeed, thanks to a thriving and diverse population, including a large number of university students, the traditional skills crafts and know-how which Kyoto is famous for are being kept alive to this day. From this new base in Kyoto, we intend to continue drawing from and learning from this rich tradition of Japanese aesthetics whilst merging it with what we ourselves have learned about our customers' needs over the last 100 years and the advanced technologies we have. In this way, we plan to design a future where technology is ambient and melt into the background and only become apparent as it anticipates and supports our needs. Complexity should really be concealed behind a simplicity and intuitiveness, which encourages us to control it effortlessly. To demonstrate this philosophy on our booth, we have put together a special exhibition incorporating robotics IoT and artificial intelligence, which dramatizes how Panasonic sees how design and technology will transform our homes of the future. So please do pay it a visit. A final example of the caliber of the Panasonic designers we have now working in Kyoto is the success of our installations at the Milano Salone, the world's largest and most prestigious design exhibition. It awards just six Milano Design Awards annually, and we are proud to have now won one of these in both 2017 and 2018, two years on the run. This year, we actually won the Best Technology Award for a comprehensive installation called Air Inventions, which combined a wide range of Panasonic's unique technologies in air conditioning, audiovisual, and lighting to design air. Yes, air. The installation was an excellent example of our new and emerging approach to designing not only the best products, but in creating experiences, enhancing well-being, and designing for the whole culture of people's lives. Next, I want to move on to another Panasonic venture which has deep roots in Japanese culture. Our Experience Fresh Kitchen Appliances. Experience Fresh is of a premium kitchen brand which synthesizes Japanese traditional techniques and know-how for cooking fresh food with precision technologies and the European trend for fresh food experiences. As you may know, Japanese people enjoy a life expectancy longer than almost anywhere else in the world, together with some of the lowest rates of obesity for both men and women. A large portion of this is down to what we eat, but we also believe that traditional Japanese cooking methods handed down from generation to generation are also very important as they help to preserve the healthy nutrients and other goodness inside the food. Accordingly, in our Experience Fresh products, our aim is to use the latest technology to deliver these traditional healthy cooking methods to our kitchens around the world. For example, methods of cooking such as steaming, 
preserves nutrients and prevents the oxidization of food. The blades we use in the blenders are informed by centuries-old Japanese blacksmithing techniques, meaning that they cut cleaner so as to not damage the nutritious goodness within foods. One of our other key technologies, temperature control, is used in our next latest European experience fresh product, our Clastina hard crust braid maker, designed for and in Europe. Clastina uses two unique temperature sensors working in unison to ensure the dough rises consistently during fermentation to deliver authentic oval-shaped crispy crusted bread, as if fresh from the local bakery. Furthermore, the optimized kneading blade holds and stretches the dough whilst it catches against the inbuilt ribs to achieve consistent results that imitate the even kneading of skilled artisans, creating crisp, crunchy crusts. Christina will go on sale here in Europe next month. Next, I would like to speak about TV and AV products. Exactly this time last year, together with 20th Century Fox and Samsung, Panasonic announced that we would jointly be developing an improved HDR format, which uses dynamic metadata called HDR10+. HDR10 Plus automatically optimizes brightness, color, and co contrast for each scene, delivering impressive picture quality improvements. Several months ago, the three founding companies have finalized the specifications of this new technology and started the license program. Now, HDR10 Plus is available essentially free of charge for everyone to use. So far, reactions from the industry are very promising, and I strongly believe HDR10 Plus will be widely adopted. HDR10 Plus has also put in place a certification process with the HDR10 Plus logo. Now, consumers will be able to easily recognize which TVs and Alter HD Blu-ray players have been certified to deliver the very best performances. And I am happy to announce that the devices you can see on the screen behind me are now all officially HDL Tempest certified. Furthermore, Yesterday, we issued a firmware update for 2018 Panasonic 4K TV models from FX600 and above, which brings HDL10 Plus compatibility to these TVs. In terms of HDL10 Plus content, 20th Century Fox have said that they are exploring several upcoming releases and plans to announce availability of HDL10 Plus titles in the coming weeks. Warner Brothers Film Studio has already announced that they will release their industry-leading library of 4K titles in HDL10 Plus later this year, as they are committed to more accurately bring the filmmakers' vision of their titles to consumers in the home. Finally, Amazon Prime Video was the first streaming service to launch HDL10 Plus content in December 2017 and made the entire Prime Video HDL library available in HDL10 Plus. That's available right now for owners of the Panasonic TVs I showed you earlier. For Panasonic, everything we do, HDL10 Plus included, 
is always about making sure we deliver the filmmaker's vision with the highest possible level of fidelity to our viewers. For this reason, we regularly work with not only 20th Century Fox, but also other studios and colorists to ensure that we are delivering the most authentic experiences. In fact, the outstanding accuracy of our OLED TVs was recently testified to at a shootout hosted by the highly respected HTTV test review site. The shootout featured flagship TVs from all four major brands and based on votes by over 30 experts, Panasonic's OLED was recognized as delivering the most accurate color, contrast, and uniformity when viewing films and crowned the best TV for the second year in a row. For us, Hollywood to your home is not just a marketing slogan. Finally, I'd like to turn to techniques. One of the most symbolic Technics products are our uncompromising turntables. And since bringing back Technics, we have been working hard to redefine the contemporary turntable through combining modern cutting-edge digital and traditional analog audio technology with precision engineering. Accordingly, both our SL1200G series and SL1000R turntables have received many fantastic reviews. Thank you all very much. Today, however, I want to talk about another symbol of the new techniques, audio products purposely developed for the modern era, and in particular, our premium class products. At last year's high-end audio show in Munich, we announced the hugely successful Technics Premium Class Ottawa SCC70, which we call the Ottawa Forte. Technics Premium Class systems are designed for music lovers and take an all-in-one form factor, eye-catching design and connectivity options, which match the diverse needs of modern lifestyles. Following in the footsteps of the Forte, at this year's high-end audio show, we announced the Ottawa S SCC50. It looks stunning, right? That's why the S stands for style. However, it looks as secondly to its superb audio performance. It incorporates Technic's unique digital and acoustic technologies to deliver an incredible music moment. Furthermore, as befits our modern era, it supports a huge amount of connectivity options that are available today such as Bluetooth, Airplay, Chromecast built-in, Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, Internet Radio, and DLNA2. It will be going on sale in Europe very, very soon. And you can also find it on our Technics booth, so please pay it a visit to find your style. I would like to finish with a few words about how important the European market is to Panasonic. In just the last year, we have further strengthened both our European lifestyle research facility and our product design presence here in Europe. Both moves are to ensure that the products and services which Panasonic offers fully meets the needs and expectations of European consumers, among the most discerning in the world. We believe that in order to ensure that Panasonic is around for another 100 years, then we need to keep on being strong here in Europe. And that's what we intend to do. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Ms. Ogawa. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Panasonic played a huge part in forming and transforming people's lives and homes over this past century, and I'm fairly certain that it will continue to do so in the years to come. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, we gave you a little glimpse into the future. And since we are already living in a fairly connected world, we are giving you the option to download the most important information and backgrounds to this press conference using the URL link behind me on the screen. And now I see you can't wait to go and test and discover the products of Panasonic yourself. Please do so. We invite you to come and discover our booth. And if you do have any further questions or need any information, please don't hesitate to ask our specialists for help. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your stay at IFA. <laughs>